Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, we have a malt in the collection. In this cricket tub here is my green bottle blue. It's not a fresh malt. It malted five days ago. So it should be okay to give it a feed. So let's just pop the lid off and uh, take a look at the tarantula. And there we go, guys. There is my green bottle blue. Uh, not very big. Around about the inch to inch and a half in leg span. So I'm not too sure if it's a male or female, but if it's a, another male, I'll sell him for breeding. And the malt is just there. I'll take that out before I give the tarantula a feed. But um, unfortunately, guys, we have a death in the collection. So, guys, the unfortunate death in my collection comes from my male giant rainforest mantis. It's been like this now for the last couple of days. And he was doing a strange rocking motion upside down so i personally thought he was malting so i left him alone uh, i haven't touched the enclosure or anything like that and um yeah unfortunately he sadly passed away i'm not too sure why um he matured into an adult only four or five weeks ago so i was expecting him to live at least another three or four months but yeah unfortunately he sadly passed away i gave him her feed about four days ago uh, he ate half of the mario worm and he left the rest so yeah unfortunately uh, mantis don't live very long uh, their maximum lifespan is around about 12 months but uh, that's a risky take i'm afraid guys and there he is guys i've taken him out of his enclosure and like i just said i don't know why he's um, passed away i have absolutely no idea whatsoever he was okay a few days ago so i don't know if he's just passed away from old age but um yeah that's just the way it goes unfortunately guys so while we're here let's feed my green bottle blue so guys so here we go i've got a super worm And there we go. Five days is okay for a sling this big. Juveniles, I always give them seven days. And same with adults. I give them between 10 and 14 days to recover from their malt. But this superworm here should definitely fatten up the tarantula's abdomen. And hopefully we should see some fang action. My daughter, my eldest daughter, she's got a green bottle blue. And that one recently malted a couple of weeks ago as well. And she has a Brachypalma albiceps that freshly malted last week. But she's been into tarantulas a few years now. Always nice to see your tarantulas eat after a malt. Don't worry, if they don't eat straight away, then just give them another, another couple of more days to recover and try and feed them again. But always have a water dish available or you can just spray the inside of the enclosure with some water. So uh, yeah, this beautiful tarantula here has some amazing colours and you can see that beautiful gold carapace as well. Unfortunately, green bottle blues don't stay this colour. When they get to an adult size, they turn blue and orange, which is a completely different colour. I wish they stayed this colour. It would be absolutely amazing if they did. So I thought we would probably see the happy dancing a bit, but uh, only time will tell. So 
uh, guys, as you can see, it looks like the tarantula's on the move, so uh, happy dance could be on its way. It's having a little bit of trouble trying to lift that super worm up. But it looks like the super worm is nearly, nearly dead. Just move the enclosure around, you can see a little bit of fang action there. Uh, unfortunately, I can't zoom any more than that, guys. And you see the abdomen there, they've got like a tiger marks on it. That completely disappears as it gets uh, bigger. That abdomen there becomes completely orange. A little bit of a shame. So yeah, I think I'll leave the green bottle blue now, guys, to finish off its meal. And um, the mantis, I was going to bury it in the garden but unfortunately it's uh, it's raining really really badly here so i'll have to leave it until some other time so i hope you enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen and thanks for watching everyone